Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gary coming back with another Metal Work Monday. Sorry, I'm not in front of the camera. Still got the audio issues, and if I get you know very far away from it at all, you can't hear me. So uh, we'll definitely get that fixed by next week for sure. Uh, so this week, uh, ended up buying this guy. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, this is a magnetic drill or a mag drill, and it's got a magnet, uh, electromagnet on the bottom of it that's got 4,000 pounds of clamping force. Uh, so you can mount this thing on the side of a building or on the side of this work table here, for example, or upside down or, or anywhere. And the main reason I bought it is to drill all the holes in this uh, table here. Um, but I, but I also, uh, the milling machine, you know, if you're drilling holes like maybe up to 3 8 inch, man, it just, it'll plunge through those very, very quickly. But once you get above that, um, you know, just the torque required to uh, drill a, a large hole uh, the milling machine doesn't have and uh, it, it's got torque and power but up way up in the rpm range and obviously you know when you get bigger um, drill bits and so forth you need to turn those a lot slower um, so this guy's just a two speed it's uh, 260 rpms on low 480 rpms on high um, serious uh, torque in this machine now this is the ebay chinese uh, cheap version the the real nice expensive one of these is about three grand and this one's about 800, 800 bucks. So uh, I also want to use it as a, as a drill press. I was looking at the Bailey industrial gear driven drill press. I think it's like two grand, three grand, you know, something like that. So uh, I think I can get some good torque and good use out of this. This thing's rated to be able to drill up to a three inch diameter hole in two inch uh, thick steel. So. Uh, should be plenty of, of, uh, of torque for that. In fact, uh, take a look. You, you can already see I've been, you know, showing you there in the, in the upper corner uh, a project I did, uh, already used it for, you know, a quarter inch thick uh, angle iron that the caster base was made out of, and it just punched those five eight, eight holes in there pretty quickly. So um, we're going to build a, uh, we're going to build a, um, a stand for this thing so we can use it as a stationary drill press as well. I've got some 5 8, inch, eight thick uh, plate here and then some 1 inch thick uh, little pieces that I'm going to use and cut this off and we're going to have a platform here for this to mount. And uh, anyway, so yeah, let, let's quit talking and get to it. Uh, so here we go.
right, so there it is all finished up. As you saw, we uh, built the stand there. Uh, the guys over at uh, Brook Lane uh, built that for us. Uh, really, really good guys over there. Um, and I built it in the same, you know, kind of industrial theme that uh, our welding cart's made out of, so it kind of matches that. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we went ahead and TIG welded this whole thing up because, um, you know, it's, it's one of those deals where uh, it clearly was not required to TIG weld it, but the more practice you get, the better. And, um, you know, just, just uh, keep working at it. But uh, anyway, uh, we, we drilled some 5 8 inch holes uh, in here uh, to put these inserted clamps from the uh, strong hand uh, Bill Pro series and uh, those are the same clamps we'll be using on the table and the same size holes we'll be drilling in it. So uh, anyway, uh, that's a wrap.